planet so much now that it begins to wobble. The planet itself today wobbles because every one of us is calling out somebody named Jesus mm -hmm. who never existed. Never existed. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So you that your 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 melanin can be used to keep you in the prison mm -hmm. because it's easily infected with illusion. And that's why we must know ourselves from inside out. And if this is a chance for me to speak more deeply upon what it is we need to do, you know I'm going to actually do my best mm -hmm. to be here to speak on that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Now, I need to read into the record for everyone some things that I put down very quickly for us to understand or understand around what this DNA situation is and what this whole concentration on genetics and you know what's going on with the genetics of disease and we found a gene for cancer and a gene for leukemia and a gene for that you can go down to Woolworths and find genes <laughs> <laughs> there's genes in everything biological but he needs to do that yeah. he needs to think that he is in control because he is going to poison you with what he finds. He can't do anything good with what he finds. He needs to keep poisoning you because by your suffering and pathology he lives. Uh -huh. mm. That's know that the medical system does not exist by your health. It exists based on you being maintained within a pool of pathology. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So his control, his science is to find out what may harm you so that he may stay in control. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There is no different, there is no upliftment in his science because he has completely extricated the principle of the deity of God within all of his science. You cannot find deity in any of his sciences. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it has to be satanic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the study of genetics, the study of medicine, uh, the study of all of the biologies that he has is a satanic study because he does not believe that a divine intelligence operates all things. Now, if, if I may ask you a question, if you would prefer just to go completely and I interject questions on the end, I'll try to do that. Good, but let me put this down because then the questions may have been answered by what I have put down here for you. So let me just get some rudimentary things down. Simply put, mm -hmm. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid makes RNA, ribonucleic acids, which in turn, ribonucleic acids makes proteins. Everybody knows what a protein kind of is. Proteins allow things that are called amino acids to be registered messengers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll show you what I'm talking about when it comes down to say, for instance, to the DNA helix. And we'll deal with the DNA helix like this because this is the simplest waveform that we can see this is not let me just say this first DNA is not what you think it is this is simply an abstract model by what science has done to simplify what it is mm -hmm. okay that's all it is so when they show you this fancy model with all these little things all over it that's a clinical model because they don't all look like this DNA is simply a wave energy pattern crystallized into a gelatinous mold okay and the reason why it seems like this is because we stuck and I'm gonna get into that so DNA makes RNA RNA makes pro proteins and proteins allow the amino acids to be the registered messengers each amino acid is different and thus has a different geometric shape specific to its duty. So amino acids are little messengers that attach themselves along the DNA. And I'm doing it extremely simplistic because if you get in contact with this guy, he will start getting into the church of his own scientific churches. Huge uh, amount of gobbledygook that simply doesn't do anything because it's their own language. It's their own way of estranging you from what's going on inside of you. So, each amino is a microprocessor. 
a microprocessor mm -hmm. of light signature frequencies. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, when you eat, or when you breathe in, or when you drink water, or when you take in anything that's real food, the breaking down of substances, especially the stuff that you breathe, essentially comes from what your environment gives to you in the form of the breath. So as you breathe in or as you eat in, certain things become digested, not only in the lungs but in the stomach and everywhere around you. Even knowledge and the sitting and learning is a form of digestion, which creates a certain type of etheric amino acid mm -hmm. that is not yet detected by them. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay, so I already jumped you forward maybe 10 years to what they're going to discover somewhere down the line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you breathe in, your alveoli in your lungs acts as condensers and compressors of, of cosmic solar material that is in the air that you breathe. Now a lot of people say, well, it's in the air. How can I, I'm going to see it. Well, you can tell that air is a form of atmosphere or almost like a water kind of atmosphere, if you were put your hand outside a car, for instance, and you feel that resistance as you're moving through it, and you can do this, you feel it. This is something actually feeling against my hand. Well, you're like a fish in a bowl, but you are in a more refined atmosphere. You see? So in this atmosphere is a whole other universe. You're living in a, in a, in a terrarium, an open terrarium or open aquarium. Mm -hmm with a kind of water that's so refined that this is the way that you breathe. Like the fish breathes the deeper and more condensed form of this same thing. You see. Mm -hmm. So when you breathe, you breathe in what are called etheric materials, solar materials that condense to become your etheric amino acids. But the food you eat is a denser form of the same thing. So as you break down food, you break down food that essentially has signatures within them. The enzymes, the, the proteins, and the fats, and all the different types of glycerides, whatever it is that you have inside of that food, begins to break down to make certain proteins and sugars that begin to attach themselves along the DNA. Now this DNA has these little signatures here because through your body every day, through your body, there are waveforms, light waveforms, that are constantly bombarding through your body, more refined, giving you information. And that information that's coming from the outside in the form of light and in the form of your emotions and the form of your thought processes and the form of the electrical magnetic energies in your nerves are passing through the DNA as well. Okay? Now, each amino is a microprocessor of light signature frequencies. It's an antenna for the reception of light codes. Now let me be very clear about that. Light codes are essentially coming from the sun, but it's also coming from all of what you call stars. Uh, coming from constellations, the 12 of course you know being the zodiac. Each zodiac has a specific space wherein this world spins. There are 12 of them around us, and we're inside of that. And everywhere we go, they are positioned in different areas as we travel around this and the sun itself. So we're inside this light fixtures. Just like this light is beaming on me, that would be Aquarius. One behind me would be uh, uh, Leo or all of these. So we're inside of these 12 light fixtures, and behind them, there are 12 or uh, 200 more. So we're getting all these refined form of lights. These coming together and interfacing with one another constitute the light codes that hit us finally. Okay? And as the light is hitting us, we're breathing in the residuals of those light particles that are given off. And we're getting information messages. So, these proteins and these amino acids are micro chakras. And I'll explain all of that. All connected to the seven primary chakras. Each microprocessor amino has a code combination. Each has a three-letter code. So you can imagine now that the microprocessor aminos has a three-letter code. And we're going to get into the showing you how... Oh, you can just cut this part right off. 
a three-letter code. These are